Even before I knew I wanted to go into medicine, I liked living rural just because I really enjoy that sense of community you have with people. And as a provider, it's really cool when you can take care of the people that you consider your extended family. It was kind of a combination of that and then also just hearing people's feedback on what an individualized experience you get as a student in RPAP. I think that I personally learn really well in that kind of environment where you really get to make a relationship with your teachers and get to work with them for a longer period of time. Normally during your third year of med school, you have different rotations. Some are four weeks, some are six weeks, some are two weeks. But for RPAP, you're in a community in one place for nine months. And it's really great because you get to learn and build those relationships during that time. So you get to see what it's like to be a family medicine doctor who does everything. You get to know what it's like to be a part of a community. You know what it's like to actually see somebody their, through their whole pregnancy and delivery. We moved here from the cities. We decided that we wanted to live in a smaller city. The one nice thing about Lakewood that I really liked and appreciated was your doctor that you had your entire pregnancy was the doctor that would deliver baby. So it was nice that you got to build a relationship. And uh, Cassidy uh, was the medical student that Dr. Lavelle had and she actually was at pretty much all my appointments and also got to see Miles for a lot of his beginning appointments as well. She was the first OB patient that I literally was there from her very first appointment when she found out she was pregnant and saw her many times in clinic and then was there for her entire delivery process. There's just a lot of high intensity moments where she was you know, scared and fearful for her baby and just seeing like how my preceptor handled the situation and put her at ease. Um, I just think that it really just shows you like what kind of provider you want to be for your OB patient so that you can do those same things and, you know, support them through those scary times. Cassidy initially started RPAP with and not wanting to do anything with OB. She was really scared about it, didn't really want anything to do with it. I had to push her into saying, hey, come on, I think you're going to really like this to getting to the point where she delivered the most amount of babies during the entire RPAC class this year, up to 77 babies. And she developed all these relationships to the point where now she's gonna be an OBGYN. That's what she decided to go into for uh, her specialty. Going through the rigorous training is important, is necessary, but it's not sufficient. What you also need to have seen somebody who has elevated that wealth of information into a phenomenal, beautiful excellence. Both my preceptors, Dr. Curl and Dr. Laval, are just really great people, which also I think was a big reason that my RPAP experience was so great. Um, if a high stress situation comes around, they're able to be the leader and they can take, you know, they can take control of that situation and just manage it really well. And that's something I saw many examples of throughout my time at RPAP. And I think that that is especially something that I hope to become even better at as I progress through my training. And it is challenging to work in rural medicine because sometimes you just don't have those resources that you could have. I mean, NICU, our closest ICU is St. Cloud. That's an hour away. So if something's happening, you know, we really have to do it ourselves. Sometimes challenges bring people together. You go through the crucible together and you get you form closer bonds too. So it's it certainly has been challenging at times, but it's also been an opportunity for us to grow together as a as a team and as a group. See Miles smile and kind of see how Cassie reacts is such a great experience. Bring life into the world. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. <laughs>